angry and frustrated. I told her that if she wanted money so badly, she should get a job instead of selling her body online. Just because her face is blurred doesn't make it right. She's not single. She has a husband. And she didn't even consider what I might think about this. Welcome to the Holland Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, Am I the A-Hole? My wife's secret only fans betrayal or business. But before embarking on an expedition to knowledge, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscription, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. In this video, we have a man who handles a difficult situation, in my opinion, like a champ, and is an example of why you must maintain a masculine frame. It is your job to not only provide and protect, it is incumbent upon masculine men to lead as well. Not all men are competent leaders. However, here is a lesson for you guys to learn from. Am I the a-hole for threatening my wife with divorce because she is selling her pictures online without even asking me? My wife has been selling her pictures online through platforms like OnlyFans, Discord, and other apps I haven't even heard of until recently. She's been doing this for the past five months, but thankfully she's smart enough to blur her face. A few days ago she came to me and confessed everything. She said she was making good money and wanted me to join her in making videos to sell with our faces blurred. So let's break this down. For the last five months, she has been behind his back doing what amounts to S work while married without his knowledge nor consent. At this moment, her justification is all about money. Let us ignore, however, her blatant disrespect for him and their relationship. But hey, some would say she's now empowered. I was beyond furious. I asked her why she even considered selling her pictures. She said the idea came from one of her online friends. She argued that since she's young, in great shape, her face is blurred, it wouldn't harm us, and we could make money. She even wanted me to join her. Okay, one has to ask, who is this online hmm, friend she speaks of, and how did he not know of this person? Oh wait, I forgot. She's been keeping it a secret from him. I think that is called being, um, dishonest with the man that you supposedly love. Angry and frustrated, I told her that if she wanted money so badly, she should have gotten a job instead of selling her body online. Just because her face is blurred doesn't make it right. She's not single. She has a husband, and she didn't even consider what I might think about this. I gave her an ultimatum. Either she stops this nonsense, removes all her pictures from everywhere, or allows me to take them down, or we are getting a divorce. She cried and said that she was making good money, but I told her she was being gullible and the greed could ruin us all. In my opinion, that was a boss move, and the correct one. Where he and I disagree is on the use of the word gullible. I think she's an idiot, 
and has demonstrated she can't be trusted. She says it's for the money, and I call bull. She's addicted to attention and validation. My brothers, the moment your woman starts meeting her attention and validation needs outside your relationship, that starts a doomsday clock counting down to zero. In their mental universe, the next step is cheating, which often leads to monkey branching for a better deal, or what they perceive as a higher status man. Since then, I've been ignoring her until she agrees to my demands. I'm not a super rich or successful man, but I earn enough to provide for my wife, who is a housewife and our future children. Men will date down. Women will usually date or marry at their level or above. In other words, women look for a man who's, well, better than her. On an evolutionary level, they want a man who earns more money and has better leadership abilities than her. She merely wants to know if you're suited for that natural craving for safety and security and, well, some would say rightfully so. Women need a good leader, not only for themselves, but also for their future children. In this case, I think you're making an effort to be a good leader and lay down the law as to what is acceptable and what is not as you should. He does an edit here. Thank you for all the advice. After she wakes up, I'll have a long conversation with her on this topic. Someone mentioned that it's possible to unblur pictures and I'll explain that to her. I'll make her choose what she wants. I don't want to be shamed and I do not want our future children to be shamed because of their mom. And to those asking for my wife's photos and offering money to get, get a life. If you think her body her choice, remember that she's married. She cannot stay married and have children and make us all suffer for her actions. It's disgusting and I don't care about the S workers or what they do. I just don't want my wife to become a prostitute and bring shame to our family. Update. I posted yesterday, after my wife woke up, I had a long detailed discussion with her. I explained how this could come back to bite us. She argued that it was once again, good money, but asked her to choose money or me. There was no other option left. I told her I was already giving her enough money to spend every month, and if she wanted more, I'd work extra hard, but she needed to stop or leave. Here is where I think he is not being realistic. Her actions clearly say to me she is dishonest and has the emotional maturity of a teenager because at no point prior did it occur to her that there would be consequences in the future. No matter what he did, she wouldn't have been happy. If he worked more hours, she would then claim he neglected her and she was lonely. No matter what one does with this personality type, her bad choices would have been always his fault. Finally, and thankfully she agreed, I love her too much to just leave her. It turns out it was another woman, a model herself who told my wife to do this and she fell for it because she got greedy. My wife had only posted her pictures on OnlyFans and Reddit. I asked her to delete every single photo she uploaded and to delete her accounts on both platforms. Afterward, I called all my close friends and family and asked them to delete every single photo that included us. They were shocked, but I begged them to do it as soon as possible, 
promising to explain it later. I told my wife that we were deleting our personal Facebook and Instagram accounts and photos. I transferred all her money to my account and called the bank to close hers. She started crying and accusing me of being controlling. She went on a rant, but I explained that this is only temporary. After a while, I would restore everything, her money, her social media accounts, and her bank account. She kept crying, so I told her to shut up and sit down. She pulled a stupid move that could ruin our lives and marriage, and I wasn't going to listen to her complaints. I deleted everything. She kept crying all day, so I cooked her favorite meal, gave her a few drinks, made love to her to calm her down, and did everything she liked. Finally, she went to sleep, and I think I can sleep peacefully tonight as well. So in other words, you did what women do to men all the time when they want something. Cook them a good meal, give them a little, and uh, then, you know, make them feel better. I don't know if there's anything else I could have done to protect my wife from me. No one else besides us knows about this. But if someone comes back to us in any other way, we might have to move to another state if necessary. We're not going to be on social media for at least a year. That's what I'm thinking. If there's anything else I can do, please advise. Well, I would say you handled this like a goat, as in greatest of all times, because the internet is forever. And with the advent of AI, unblurring is a real thing. Then, from the unblurred photos, one can do a reverse photo search. There's actually private software you can buy that's just as good, if not better, than some of the public, to then find somebody's social media and stalk them from there. What would have happened years from now when your kid comes home from school a victim of bullying because mom's photos resurfaced? Or what happens if she develops a stalker? History has proven how often that ends. You know, when a woman expresses a preference or says no, she's defending her boundaries. However, when a man does it, as you have, we get called controlling, insecure, and other names. It would have been one thing if you signed up to marry a spicy worker. However, you didn't. And that is a major change in the terms of the relationship. I believe that if she hides this and deceives you about this, what else will she do in the future? You can't have children with a woman like this. This was not a mistake. This was a choice. Women in general, as a group, yes, there are exceptions to what I'm about to say, are mirrors. We men need to understand that women are not independent thinkers. They do not think in terms of, is this real? Or is this the truth? As it is preferred in the masculine aspects of the male universe. They often think from the mental frame of, will others accept me if I think this is true? Case in point, all women are tens when they are objectively not. Yet, ask a group of women and they will all parrot the same talking point. This mentality originates back to tribal times when women and beta men would conform to whatever the tribe's consensus was not to face exile. Over years and years of conditioning, this became habitual in the way many women think. They follow whatever fashion or social trend or political stance or social norm that is the most popular at the current time. This is why, gentlemen, you must pay attention to who all her friends are and what they believe. 
If a friend or most of her friends are doing it, whatever it is, sooner or later, she will too. I'm sorry, my brother. I think you should end this and move on. If not, then see a lawyer and have a post-nuptial agreement drawn up to protect yourself, your assets, from her future stupidity because she will be dishonest with you again. If you stay, you've just shown her that the unacceptable is acceptable, all because you didn't kick her to the curb. If you are one of the unsubscribed viewers, 89.4%, who watch me and find value in this channel, it's time to show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who need to learn from my channel. Confession is good for the soul. Send me your personal relationship stories or questions to share. And if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, or Gab. Through this, you're leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher, ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. If you can't wait for my next new video, then click on one of these right now and watch another. Until next time.